Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with a special episode. It's going to be a season one in review. I figured I would go through this for you guys, kind of show you where my team is at at the end of the season since I lost the wild card game. Maybe show you some of the stats from the season, things like that. Just do a quick kind of run through. So this was the wild card weekend Uh I'll go through the playoff schedule. I still myself do not know who won the Super Bowl. I simulated it to I'm now in the off season, so I'm going to go through and find out the same time as you guys. So it looks like the Ravens beat the Texans, the Cowboys beat the Packers, Chargers beat the Browns. It shows that I played it twice. Uh, the first time I started the game, uh, the recording wasn't going, so I had to stop it immediately and go back in. So that's why it shows I played it twice, because even on the episode that I did last, where I lost, it already said played one. So... And then the Rams beat the Falcons. So you went into the divisional game. And then it was the Patriots beat the Ravens. The Cowboys beat the Eagles. Those fucking Chargers finally lost. The Chiefs beat them. And then the Rams beat the Saints. So go to the conference championship round. It ended up being New England beat the Chiefs to make the Super Bowl. The Cowboys beat the Rams to make the Super Bowl. So then here we go. Who's going to win? The the Patriots or the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Let's see. And, ooh, New England won the Super Bowl 24-22. to 22. So, all right, so there goes that. So we know the Patriots won the Super Bowl uh, beating the Cowboys. And let's go ahead and go back here. So if you want to go ahead, I will go to the standings first so you guys can see the standings from the season. It was... Uh, Let's see here. So the Browns, I won my division for the first time, gotten forever. Uh, then we'll go to the AFC South. The Texans won. Going to the AFC East. Patriots won, of course, they have forever. Uh, AFC West. NFC North. NFC South. And, of course, NFC East. Oh, the Eagles actually won the division. The Cowboys Cowboys uh, won the Super Bowl. NFC West. God, man, look at that. The Rams, 8-7-1 and one made the playoffs. So, all right. So, if you want to go ahead and do a quick AFC best. That's who made the playoffs. Best records. And then NFC. So, there's that. All right, guys. So, if you want to go through, I'm going to go ahead and go through my team's uh, stats for the season so we can see how they did uh, so let's see here, so Baker Mayfield threw for over 3,500 yards, 33 touchdowns 21 interceptions, terrible amount of interceptions um, he did get hurt in the next to last game and missed the playoffs, so hopefully next season will be better there so um, rushing, here we go, look how terrible this rushing is, 400 yards over 16 games, averaging 31 yards a game, 2.8 rush, Carlos Hyde, when I used him, not much better, the only time I had any success was when I ran with Tyrod Taylor in the last game of the season, which was stupid, so, as you can see, I don't, I like the running back, I've got some better sliders that maybe I can at least run a little bit this upcoming season, but right now my running game is just was just garbage so receiving um my tight end had 73 receptions 1300 yards 15 touchdowns he had a amazing season gordon um gordon was was hurt for six games still ended up with, with almost a thousand yards and six touchdowns uh callaway i'm gonna try to i'm gonna probably make him my number three wide receiver going into the next season he was very dependable um landry he missed god he missed so many games but you know, Corey Coleman, um, I may, I think I may actually trade Corey Coleman. I didn't really use him all that much. Um, if I have Callaway, I can trade him, maybe pick up another wide receiver at that point. So let's see here. Go ahead and uh, blocking. Let's see how many sacks my, there we go. That's my left, my two left tackles that I got to use. Gave up 14 sacks and they each played 12 games this season. Um, the right tackle gave up five sacks, and those are my those are my two worst positions. So, so I gave up. Let's see, 
14, 19, 22, 3, 4, 5, 25 sacks. And so I average one and a half sacks a game. So it's not very good. All right, defense. Kendricks had uh, 82 tackles. He's going to be gone. He didn't want the contracts. Uh, so when your strong safety and your cornerback have the most tackles, that's bad. Look, look, all of my linebackers. See, my defense is garbage, too, so that didn't help me any. Um, who had anybody? Anybody have any good amount of sacks? Let's see here. Miles Garrett, he's going to be a, I mean, he's going to be there. Ogba, I'm going to keep him as well. So we'll go and do that. And look at my cornerback production. Three interceptions for as the most a cornerback had. Like, that is just garbage. So, all right. My kicking. How my kicker do? 15 to 17. Uh, it made 42 extra points. My punter was on point. Uh, almost 50 yards a punt. In 12 inside the 20. He was, uh, he was on fire. Kick return. Did anybody do well? Callaway had... I mean, Callaway, Johnson, and Coleman, they're all pretty average. Nothing. Punt returns. Jabril Peppers, nothing. Nothing to write home about, man. None of them did. All that good. So, let's go ahead and see how the awards went for the season. We got uh, the yearly. I'm not care about weekly. So, uh, Drew Brees won the MVP. And... Patrick Mahomas. I wonder if he's going to be that good in Madden. So he was the second runner-up um, for MVP. So coach of the year goes to the Patriots coach, who's never Bill Belichick in these games. I guess he hasn't given his, uh, oh, I got nominated for coach of the year. Look at me, Jonas J. There we are. Number third overall. So all right, let's go AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Are right, any of my players, Mahomes was there. No Browns listed under Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, Eric Berry. God damn. And I, you know what? I beat the Chiefs, I think. Maybe they beat me. Eric Berry, he was fucking crazy. And Hitchens. Holy shit. So Defensive Player of the Year, they have two guys at the top. Oh, Miles Garrett, look. That's Brown. He made it. So he's what? Number six. All right, so that's one Brown Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nice. So Baker Mayfield. One offensive rookie of the year, which is great. He's he's ranked what's to say at 85. So I mean he's getting up there. He's moving. Um, did any other Browns rookies make? It? Oh shit! Look at this. Antonio Callaway is eight, and Nick Chubb is nine. I don't know how Nick Chubb came in ninth for rookie of the year. He ran for 400 yards in 16 games and had under three yards of carry. Ugh. Defensive player of the year or rookie of the year. Any Browns? Nope. Tremaine Edwards, Evans. Nope, nobody here. Oh wait, Denzel Ward came in tenth, so he'll be he'll be pretty good coming in, in the future seasons. Best quarterback, Baker Mayfield came in second. Nice. Best running back, <laughs> yeah, right. So uh, Kareem Hunt, Le'Veon Bell, James White had a great year. All right. Best for wide receivers, any Browns? No. Danny Amendola for the Dolphins was the best wide receiver. Bruce Ellington. Wow. Any of my guys? Nope, none of them made it. Willie Sneed, huh? Offensive lineman. Dude, okay, Joel Batonio, yes, yes. And my, my left guard. Oh, wait, look, look, look. And my right guard. So that's one position I don't need. Oh, go figure. The, the Patriots won the Super Bowl in 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10. Their entire starting lineup was five of the top ten best linemen in the league. Like I told you. Miles Garrett. Oh, hell yeah. Best defensive lineman. Look at that. Look. Oh, look at these two. Oh, those are the two that terrorized me in the goddamn season. All right. And best linebacker. It is not going to be the Browns. Von Miller. All right. Best defensive back. Um, Did, did Denzel Ward make it? He did not. So, there's that. Best kicker. Got the best kicker. Hell yeah. All right. And then, uh, so that's all. So, let me go ahead and show you guys my team, um, where I'm at at the end of the season. I have um, a few guys that are. I have to try to re-sign left. I think there's only five of them. It's going to be, uh, I'll do this here in the next one. It's just a wide receiver I picked up. I may franchise him just to trade him or something. And then... 
Everybody else I'm not going to keep. They're all just garbage players. I mean, 71, 74. I very well may keep him, just franchise him, and then trade him away for anything I can get because he doesn't want to stay here. Who wants to stay in Cleveland anyways, right? So, all right, let me go ahead and run through my team um, before I get this video over here uh, so we can see what I need to work on the offseason. Um, all right, so at the end of one year, we have uh, Baker Mayfield. He's running. He's up to an 88, and Tyro Taylor will be gone, and I'm going to cut Stanton if I can. If not, he'll just be my backup. I may get another backup. Uh, Duke Johnson, Carl Side, Nick Chubb. My, I'm I'm probably going to trade most of these guys if I can, to be completely honest. Fullback, this dude is gone, 100%. Uh, let's see here. So we got Landry. He's for overall 91. Gordon Coleman. Callaway's only a 75, but but he it's because of his awareness. Other than that, he's great. Um, so my wide receiver core, pretty good. Um, go to my tight ends. Devalvin Njoku. I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with those guys. This guy is just kind of a guy to have. So now here we go. Left tackle. 69, 68, 64. This is my number one area of concern. I'm going to try to upgrade my team. Um, probably, I'll probably get rid of any of these guys I can. I'll cut them if I can't anything else. Left guard, Batonio, 91. That'll work. Um, the Browns in real life moved him to left tackle. I very well may see if I can shift his position and move him to tackle if he's going to be anywhere near as good. So, as you can see, I need depth. I need my center... 79-65. I need... He's 28. My right guard, he's 29, but he's 88. So then my backup is 20, is 23, and he's 76, which is still not great. So any of these guys I can get rid of. My left tackle, or my right tackle, he's 72. I mean, he's 28 years old. I'm going to focus a ton on offensive line. So my left end um, position is pretty strong. Uh, 84 78. Uh, I'll keep those guys. Miles Garrett, obviously, I'm going to keep. He'll be, he's going to be this, the whole section of my goddamn defense here. Um, so that's pretty good. I mean, I need some depth, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Um, defensive tackle. I run a 3 4, um, which I'm not going to change unless I happen to get a good, I may change to a 4 3. Um, which is four linemen, three linebackers. A three four is three linemen, four linebackers. Um, but he's 83. He had he had like 11 sacks, so he's he's on the come up. Um, and these two guys are just trash. I think they're both going to be gone. I think he's a free agent, and and so maybe him too. They're just garbage. Left outside linebacker. Look, Jamie Collins. He's 29. He's wearing 76. My backup is 67. Just garbage. Middle linebackers. I need two good middle linebackers for a three four. I have none. Joe Sherbert would be an okay number two, maybe. But that's about it. Linebacker is another area in Kendricks. He's going to be gone. So I have Christian Kirksey, who's pretty good. Um, he'll be su he's, he'll be sufficient to get me through. Um, but I'm going to try to upgrade my linebacker position in the offseason, too. Cornerback, I mean, is all right. Ward will be good. Gains and carry. Or, I mean, they're decent. I got a decent core of cornerbacks here. And then safety, I'm really strong. I got two 84s. Um, I may try to trade one of them, to be honest, um, because I just I just don't need two that good. And look at that guy. He's taking up he's taking up $5 million. So I may try to trade him. Um, strong safety. I got Jabril Peppers, who I probably should start. This Derek Kindred, I mean, he's good. I'll keep him. Um, but... I don't know. I may, may get rid of somebody. I'm going to see how the offseason plays out. A kicker. He's only uh, he's 24. He's only 79. But his I mean, his kick power is 97. I didn't have any problem missing. I only missed two field goals with him. One was short. And one I fucking screwed up. So I'm cool with him. My punter, I like him. He's old. I like this guy better. Because, look, his kick power is 93, and his kick accuracy is 78, where this guy's 88 for power and 79 for accuracy. So it's not like he's 
that much better. So, and here's my draft picks. I pick 23rd, 55th. I have two third round picks. One I got from New England, four, five, six, seven. So I don't really have a plethora of draft picks. Um, I may trade some of these picks out if there isn't a player I want in the draft. Um, nobody left in my practice squad. So, all right. So if there anything else that I want to try to show you guys before I wrap this video up, um, I don't think so. I mean, that's pretty much everything. That's pretty much where season one was. Season one, um, I lost in the wild card round playoffs to the Chargers, who also beat me 31 nothing during the regular season. They were just they were too much. Their their defensive line was too much for me. I couldn't beat them, and my run game was atrocious. So. I'm going to work on getting a new playbook for next season. I'm going to work on upgrading my offensive line and my linebackers. Those are my – and maybe trying to pull a, a, a running back. The running back may be serviceable with these new settings, but we'll have to see. So that's pretty much where I'm at. I was rifled with injuries. I'm going to go and turn uh, – with these with these new settings, I think it turned the injuries way down. I think they were up at like 40 of 100. I think they're down lower now to try to make it more realistic. I was getting two to three injuries per game. Almost all my offensive players were getting hurt, um, my offensive linemen, everything. So it should be a little more realistic going forward. And that's really where we're at, man. I'm going to go ahead and the next video I put out – um, it's probably going to be uh, with this one, or actually, because I'll put out the wild card one in the, uh, and then the year in review, and then that, and then I'll do the off season. I'll put the whole off season in one big video, um, where I'll go over, I'll go through free agency, I'll go through the draft, I'll go through everything, um, you know, which isn't something a lot of people are interested in watching. And then I'll go ahead and simulate the preseason and uh, cut my players and everything like that. So um, that'll all be in the off-season video that's coming up next. And then we'll jump into season two. And uh, my plan for season two is to do each game and then also do all of the after-game shit um, at the end of the videos or maybe in a separate video. Um... I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do it, but I want to make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing, upgrading my players, etc., starting with Season 2, since the first one was kind of like a, a trial, kind of run through, kind of see how it goes. So, All right, I do want to thank all you guys for checking out these Madden videos. It's been very awesome that you guys have been wanting to, uh, on this journey with me, trying to rebuild the Cleveland Browns. So I will uh, tune in for the next video for the, the entire off season, where I'm going to try to make the team even better, and uh, we'll go from there. So... For Jonas, I am out.